Hey guys, Chris here again with Project Nerf. I've been asked to do it lots of times, so today on Game Day Mods, I'm going to show you how to take your Disruptor to the next level. Let's do it! Okay, before we do anything, let's put this bad boy on the chrono. Now, I've got Adventure Force waffles in here. Uh, they're used ones, so I don't know really what we're going to get, but hey, let's do it anyway. Really, really solid right there, guys, for used darts and a used blaster. So we had all six good reads, high of 75, low of 70, and an average of 72 FPS. Now let's get it inside, get it on the bench, and get done with that game day mod. Okay guys, game day mods on the Disruptor. So obviously we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to get this bad boy open. You don't have to have an electric one like mine, but... If you've never done one of these, there are a couple of hidden screws underneath the priming handle here, so don't forget to take those out. And hopefully I've got enough of those out of here to open this bad boy up. Looks like maybe it's thinking about it. There we go. All right, we're open. So we are in. So now, uh, one of the nice things about it, uh, you hopefully you can see here in my little bucket, uh, all of the screws are the same length, so we don't have to worry about uh, you know where they go and whatnot. Okay, so we got one screw here in the trigger. If I can get the tip of the screwdriver, there we go. Little top hat screw here. Take that out. There's the trigger neck. This is your catch. Springs on the back side. There we go. Don't lose it. Okay, and at this point, pretty much the whole assembly just lifts out. Okay, so pretty easy there. We've got the plunger rod out. And all I normally do is just slip the first ring like that and you can screw the spring off. Now the thing about these guys, you cannot go really, really heavy with the spring. You gotta be pretty careful here because uh, the priming mechanism on these is soft. See this little bar sticking off right here? That's all that primes this thing back. And on the inside of this, there's a little tab right there at the end of my thumb. That's all that, that catches and primes this thing. So we don't want to go really heavy with a spring. You also, it messes with the slam fire mechanism, so it's not cool. But uh, anyway, what we're going to do is maybe see if we got something a little bit heavier than this. And then I'm going to show you uh, really uh, what my favorite modification for these blasters is. Okay, so I cut myself down a, uh, a stock rival spring, which is probably too heavy. But, uh, you know, I cut it the same length. You can see the coils are a little farther apart, which is great. It's going to help us with compression. And I put the unsquared end up here in the front. So we're going to pop the O-ring, maybe put one wrap of Teflon tape in there, relubricate this thing, and then call it done with the plunger. Let me see what I've got here. Just take a little screwdriver, doesn't have to be anything fancy. Pop that O-ring off of there. There we go. 
Um, you can do this with electrical tape as well, but I just kind of like using plumber's tape. It's easier for me. Okay, now that's one wrap, but I doubled the tape over, so it's actually two. And that should give us plenty. Yep, that feels pretty good. Okay, and we're going to set that aside. Hopefully not too much spring, but if it is, we can go back to the stock one. One of my favorite mods to do on these is remove the cylinder and cut the posts out uh, so that we can use short darts as well. Um, I love versatility in my blaster. So when we do this, we're going to take our clippers and we're going to get in close as we can to the center and leave some meat over here on the sides to stop darts from coming out the back like that. All right, so that way when we put a dart in, it doesn't ride out of the back of the cylinder, okay? And again, just one of my favorite mods because it adds versatility to the blaster. And just get in there with those clippers. Like I said, make sure it's really close as you can get to the middle. All right, so those are all out, and we're just going to take a little file and clean up the rough edges now. If you do this, if you remove these posts, again, now we can fire short darts, but we have one more problem, and that's the AR. Okay, because the center of that post that we just cut off is what pushes this down. So we have to pop the cap and put the AR, and take the AR out. So, not hard to do here. We'll take our very small standard screwdriver, flat tip. Smaller the better in this case. And we just want to get in there and lever at that a little bit. The retainer is on either side. I don't want to go crazy because you can break it. Alright, so I'm going to just gently work in this and I've just about got it out now. There we go. So, take that out. Lose the spring. Put this back together. The little hole goes to the top. It's an air relief hole, which you can fill in, fill in uh, with a little hot glue if you want to. And if you have any question that your plunger head might come off or something like that, you can always just put a little dab of super glue in there. Um, as far as this hole goes, we're just going to put one little drop of super glue in that and call it done. All right, so AR's removed, caps back in. We sealed up the air hole. Again, just a little super glue in there, and then I sprayed a shot of accelerator, so that takes care of the air release hole. Hopefully get a little more velocity. That way, the last thing we're going to do before we assemble this bad boy is take our little file and just file the edges of these. Um, when you cut them, occasionally you get a little burr sticking up like that, and that will uh, eventually wear out your little foam seal in there. All right, and that should do. So... Drop our cylinder back in the hole. Well, with any luck, we don't have too much uh, spring in there. Plunger assembly back in there. Catch. Now would not be a bad time to upgrade your catch spring. Okay, so we put everything back in there. Ready to go ahead and try to button this beast back up. That's one of the deals with a blaster. If it doesn't close easily, like we just had right there, you didn't do something right. Um, so, take my. There we go. I know we got one or two screws. There we are. All right, so we're uh, back together. I'm going to throw the rest of the screws in this thing, button it up, and we'll see if it goes. Okay, so we are completely reassembled here. Now, we again, that heavier spring, and I'm not 100% sure, guys. I've uh, never put one quite that heavy in one of these. 
Uh, but oftentimes, in my experience with slam fire blasters, when you upgrade the spring like that, you end up losing slam fire. So, but let's see. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, it definitely shoots. Shooting quite hard. Let me throw a couple of more darts in it because we don't want to dry fire it because we removed the AR. All right, so we're loaded up here. We're going to hold the trigger. Yeah, it still slam fires too. So, yeah, real happy about that. There's one more little tip here, guys, I'm going to give you. It's pro tip. You, everybody should be doing it if you're not. Um, get yourself some silicon dry lubricant like this and a couple of Q-tips, and lubricate your cylinders on your cylinder blasters. Um, this will help you get extra velocity, uh, literally. I've taken stock blasters, ones like this, that were shooting 70-something FPS, just lubed them up, and they went into the 80s. Um, so, no reason not to do it. It's super easy. Only takes a minute to do. Again, just game day stuff here, guys. I do this before I go to every event with any blaster that is spring powered uh, at all actually um, I'll even lubricate the barrels and all this lubrication does is we're Okay, doesn't take that long to dry either. P.S. I will warn you ahead of time, that type of lubricant does not necessarily smell real pleasant, but um, it's uh, extra, extra good for a little extra velocity for you know, no real work, and a bottle of this, guys, will last you forever. This is the three-in-one all-temp silicon, right, you know, high, uh, negative 100 to 500 degree working range, multi-surface, quick drying. Um, I've been using this for years and years and years. I use it to lubricate my magazines, again, and all my spring blasters, breeches, barrels, uh, cylinder bores, all of that stuff. You should always have it on hand. Pro tip. Anyway, we set this thing up so that we could fire short and long darts. Let's see how it fires short darts. All right, guys, we're back out on the chrono with our modded disruptor. Again, we have the AF waffles in here, so let's see what we get. That was a nice, nice set. Again, we had six reads, a high of 94, a low of 86, and an average of 90 feet per second. So definitely the upgrade spring, the improved seal, all that stuff worked pretty good. Let's see what it does with short darts. All right, quick disclaimer, uh, you have to ram load your short darts, so you're gonna need a dart or a stick or a Q-tip or something like that to uh, to make those darts seat all the way in the back of the cylinder. There we go, all those look good. Let's see what it does. These are worker Gen 3s. Yeah, hopefully you guys can read the number. It's very overcast out here today, I apologize for that. But we did six reads with a high of 105, a low of 92, and an average of 97 feet per second on short darts. So, yeah, uh, nice improvement. So, another very successful game day mod. All right, guys, we're on the range with our modest disruptor. I've got it loaded up with the uh, worker Gen 3s, and I figured we'd uh, plink a target or two just to see uh, how well those improvements worked for us. So, anyway, forget the jacket. It's like 35 degrees out here. I'm freezing to death, so we're just going to keep it short today, but figured I'd at least show it off. That is center punching that 20. Let's see if we can hit the 40. Oh, yeah. Just to the right of it on that last one, but absolutely no problem scoring target flat at 40 feet, so. All right, guys. Yeah, we're back in from the range. Um, super happy with this. Uh, we got excellent, excellent performance gains out of it. We did retain slam fire, and now we can shoot both short and long darts, so 
that is just awesome. Guys, if you haven't done it yet, hit that subscribe button, turn on all notifications so you can be advised of our future and upcoming content. Leave us a like, throw us a comment. You feel free to send us an email, uh, check out our Facebook, check out the shop, and as always, I'll put the fan mail address in the description box below. Guys, this is Chris for Project Nerve saying until next time, have a blast.